Right now, at this very second, you are about to witness something that hasn't stopped in over four years. A relentless jet of superheated steam, roaring at 97 degrees Celsius, erupting every single moment from a crack in the earth just seven kilometers from the heart of Naples, Italy. This is not a documentary replay. This is happening live, and 900,000 people are living directly on top of it. Welcome to Pizzirelli, the fumarole that never sleeps, the vent that scientists cannot look away from, and the most visible warning sign that Europe's most dangerous supervolcano, Campi Flegre, is wide awake. But here's what makes your heart skip. In the past seven days alone, this volcanic system has shaken with 121 earthquakes. The ground beneath the city of Pozzuale has risen over one meter since 2005. Roads are cracking. Buildings are condemned. Boats that once floated in the harbor now scrape the seabed because the earth is literally pushing the coastline upward and through it all. Pissiarelli screams steam into the sky, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, without pause. Now imagine standing at the edge of this fumarole field. Oh! You hear the roar first. A deep guttural hiss like a massive kettle boiling over. Then you see it, towering white plumes shooting 10, 20, sometimes 30 meters into the air. The ground trembles beneath your feet. The air smells of sulfur. Your skin prickles from the heat radiating off the cracked, yellow-stained earth. This is not a tourist attraction anymore. This is a geological emergency unfolding in slow motion, and yet, life goes on. Children walk to school, three blocks away. Families eat dinner as the walls crack a little more each night. Fishermen navigate a harbor that has risen so much, their boats run aground at low tide. This is the terrifying reality of living on a caldera that refuses to stay quiet. Here's the question that keeps volcanologists awake at night. Why is PCRLE erupting steam at record temperatures? What is happening four kilometers beneath your feet that is forcing this volcanic system to vent pressure so violently? And most urgently, is this steam release a safety valve preventing something worse? Or is it the final warning before a catastrophic event? In the next 20 minutes, you are going to see live webcam footage that scientists check every single hour. You will understand the underground mechanism that Stanford University researchers compared to a mocha pot coffee maker, a pressure cooker model, that explains why Campi Flegre is behaving the way it is. You will see data from INV monitoring stations showing ground deformation happening faster than almost anywhere else on Earth. You will hear what the lead volcanologists are quietly telling emergency planners behind closed doors. And you will learn exactly what signs to watch for if you live near this area or if you're planning to visit Naples anytime soon. Because here's the brutal truth that no one wants to say out loud. The last time Campi Flegre erupted in 1538, it built an entirely new mountain in just 48 hours. Monte Nuovo, they called it, New Mountain. It appeared overnight. Entire villages vanished. And that eruption was considered small by Campi Flegre's standards. So when you see that webcam footage of Pissarelli blasting steam into the Italian sky, remember this. You are watching a volcanic system that has the potential to reshape southern Europe. This is not fear-mongering. This is not exaggeration. This is the scientific reality of living on one of the most closely monitored, most dangerous, and most unpredictable volcanic systems on planet Earth. And it's happening right now. Every single day, the Einvies monitoring station at Rioni Terra, codename Wright, records the ground moving upward. Not by millimeters, by centimeters. In the past 12 months alone, this station has measured 17 and a half centimeters of vertical displacement. That's nearly seven inches. In one year, the ground is rising at a rate of two centimeters per month and it shows no sign of slowing down. 
Now, here's where it gets terrifying. When you overlay the GPS data with satellite radar interferometry from the European Space Agency's Sentinel system, you see something extraordinary. The center of maximum deformation is not directly under Pozzuoli. G, it's slightly offshore. In the Gulf of Pozzuoli, at a depth of approximately 3 kilometers. This is the exact zone where underground pressure is building to levels not seen since the 1980s crisis. Using high-resolution seismic tomography and geochemical analysis of gases, researchers discovered that the primary driver is not molten rock. It's a massive geothermal reservoir of superheated fluids and gases trapped beneath a fractured rock layer between two and four kilometers deep. Think of it like this. Imagine a mocha pot coffee maker. Water heats up in the bottom chamber. Pressure builds. Steam forces the water up through the coffee grounds and erupts out the top spout. That's exactly what's happening at Campi Flegre. Groundwater seeps down into the hot zone, gets superheated to temperatures exceeding 400 degrees Celsius, converts to supercritical fluid, and then fights its way back up through fractures in the rock. When it reaches the surface at Pissiarili, it explodes as steam at 97 degrees. But here's the critical part that keeps scientists on edge. This system is losing permeability. The fractures that allow steam to escape are slowly sealing with mineral deposits from the hydrothermal fluids. Every time a fracture clogs, pressure builds. And when pressure builds in a confined space beneath a densely populated city, you get one of two outcomes. Either new fractures open violently through earthquakes, or the pressure finds explosive release through a phreatic eruption. A phreatic eruption is a steam-driven blast that can happen with almost no warning. No magma required. Just superheated water flashing to steam in seconds. It's what killed 63 people on Mount Antartic in Japan in 2014. Right now, Pisirelli is venting approximately 2,000 tons of carbon dioxide every single day. That's more CO2 output than some actively erupting volcanoes. The fumarole field has expanded by 30% since 2020. New vents are opening. Temperatures are climbing. And the seismic data shows something chilling. Very long period oscillations, VLP signals, that indicate fluid-filled cavities beneath Solfatara crater are resonating like a drum. Maria Esposito owns a small cafe 300 meters from Pizzarelli. Two months ago, a crack appeared in her back wall. Last week, it widened by two centimeters. She can fit her fingers inside it. Now the building inspector told her the structure is no longer safe, but she has nowhere else to go. Her family has run this cafe for three generations, and now she's watching it literally tear apart. Walk through the streets of Pozzoli today, and you'll see something heartbreaking. Entire apartment blocks wrapped in red and white caution tape condemned, evacuated. Over 40 buildings have been deemed unsafe since May 2024. When the magnitude 4.4 earthquake, the strongest ever recorded at Campi Flegre, sent shockwaves through the city. Families were given 72 hours to remove their belongings and leave. Some haven't returned. And then there are the children. Schools in Agnano and Pozzuoli now conduct earthquake drills twice a month. Teachers report that some students freeze in panic when they feel even minor tremors. One elementary school near Solfatara was temporarily closed last year when ground temperatures beneath the playground exceeded 40 degrees Celsius. The soil was too hot for children to safely play on. Here's my question for you. If your child's school was built directly on top of an active volcanic system, showing signs of unrest, would you send them there? Or would you move your family out of the danger zone? Be honest in the comments. What would you do? The AIM-V operates a 24-7 live webcam pointed directly at Pissiarelli Fumarole. 
you can access it through their official monitoring network. When you pull up that feed, here's what you need to understand. On a normal day, you'll see white steam plumes rising steadily, maybe 10 to 15 meters high. The plumes pulse slightly. This is normal pressure variation, as superheated water flashes to steam underground and vents through the fractures. The thermal camera feed shows even more. Right now, the hottest surface temperatures at Pisaiorelli are hitting 97 degrees Celsius. But beneath the visible surface, thermal imaging reveals hot spots reaching 120 to 150 degrees just centimeters underground. In some areas, the ground is too hot to stand on. These thermal signatures correlate directly with earthquake swarms. When temperatures spike suddenly, Seismicity follows within hours. Now here's the pattern that terrifies scientists. In the past three months, Pisaiorelli has shown increasing burst-like behavior. Instead of steady venting, the fumarole erupts in violent pulses, lasting 7 to 15 seconds, followed by brief quiet periods. This is identical to the pattern observed before freetic explosions at other hydrothermal systems worldwide. It suggests that pathways are intermittently blocking and clearing under immense pressure. And the seismic data backs this up. Weavers recorded 121 earthquakes in just the last seven days. Most are magnitude 1 to 2.5. Shallow events are 2 to 3 kilometers. Depth exactly where the hydrothermal reservoir sits. But here's what keeps emergency planners awake. The October 2025 study confirmed that Campi Flegre now has an active fault capable of producing a magnitude 5.1 earthquake. So what should you do if you live in this region? First, know your evacuation zone. Sao Pura 2. Mm. The Civil Protection Department has divided the caldera into red and yellow zones based on risk. If you're in the red zone, you need a go bag ready with documents, medication, and essentials for 72 hours. Second, follow NV bulletins. They're published weekly with updated seismicity, deformation, and gas data. Third, have multiple communication plans. When the big one hits, cell networks will overload immediately. The live webcam is still running right now. Pisciarelli is still erupting. The ground is still rising and 900,000 people are still living directly on top of the most monitored, most unstable, and most dangerous volcanic system in Europe. If you want to stay updated on Campi Flegre as this crisis develops, because when the next major escalation happens, and it will happen, you'll want to know about it immediately. Hit that subscribe button, and in the comments tell me, are you watching the live webcam after this video? What did you see?